hey guys welcome back to my channel as you can probably tell i am drained right now i'm so so too tired i haven't slept um baby's been kicking me and i don't know why i'm not sleeping i'm just working at night for some reason i just can't sleep i have a pregnancy pillow that's supposed to help me sleep but for some reason it just isn't anyways i have to do some radio interviews today and i'm just not in the mood i'm not in the mood to slay i mean my hair and makeup are done but honestly i really just want to be in my bed what time is um the radio interview today one okay we're supposed to look down to one and it's 105 yeah okay it's just down the road so we should be okay but i'm so tired i'm not in the mood i've had three hours of sleep and i boxed this morning three hours of sleep at night the night too yeah, at night yeah not after boxing like I went to bed at like 3 a.m. woke up at 5 to wake up my husband because he had to eat because it's Ramadan and then I didn't go back to sleep so actually two hours and then I boxed and I'm pregnant so I am tired and I'm just hoping this interview is really really quick to do my own makeup today first of all I didn't have the strength to go to Mona's I think that speaks volumes so I tried I really really tried with this face beat the thought of wearing heels is making me sick I just want to stay in bed all day. I want to be my onesie. Can I go? Do you have the questions for the interview? No, I don't. They didn't even send me the questions. Normally, I like to have questions just because I'm sidetracked sometimes by people interviewing me. I don't even like interviews. But I like the person interviewing me, so... Mm -hmm. Flavia. I love Flavia. She's good vibe. She's mommy vibe. She's very professional. So I'm, I'm confident in what she'll ask me. I'm just really, really, really tired. I'm just looking at the schedule for today. Can I go on a onesie? Yeah, if you mind being seen in a onesie. <laughs> no, I'm serious, guys. Like, I'm so tired. I need to put on a dress. I need to put on heels. I, I don't have the strength. I don't even know if I can wear heels. My, my physiotherapist um, told me I need to stop wearing heels because I'm pregnant. They said it wouldn't harm the baby, but my ankles. But... Harm you. I guess, I mean, not harm. Harm is a very very strong word it's just better if i'm in flats but then it's like i need to slay drip is forever drip is, for ex drip is forever <laughs> drip is forever but i'm just let's just okay we're late okay i'm late let's just let me go change um and then let's head off to the radio station um i really don't know what shoes to wear and i'm just so unbothered these match oh. so nicely so nice it's pink this is pink not nude right but they're so small i actually don't have shoes i feel like i don't have shoes like i'm seeing them but i'm not seeing them you know what i mean look at that my feet are like screaming for air what do you think i wish you could feel what i feel i'm even sweating i'm panting just from pregnancy is doing the most right now um I should stick with these? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I can drive in them. Okay, wait. Let me wear these right now because it's not far where we're going, but take my flats with me. There's definitely a certain amount of pressure that comes with being an influencer or a content creator on social media. You know, you always have to look good. You have to look amazing. Um, people want to see the good moments in your life. And being pregnant, the reality is I'm not always going to slay. I'm not always going to feel like wearing heels. I don't even like wearing heels. But there's been a bar that's set, I feel, for influencers that has to be met of snapping back, which we'll do in another episode, of, you know, face beat. I've seen influencers get their face beat while they were in labor, literally. Whereas with my first pregnancy, I looked like I was on... Um, death row i had cornrows and no makeup i looked ridiculous um so i do feel pressure sometimes just sometimes like for example i'm going for a radio interview today and i would love to roll up in my gown or a onesie and you know a pair of sneakers or a pair of slippers but of course i can't um i wouldn't call myself famous i don't like that term i wouldn't say i'm a celebrity but I am labeled as a socialite constantly in Ugandan media, which I don't agree with because, I mean, I guess it's not used in a positive connotation, so I don't agree with it. I think here, when you talk about socialites in Uganda, it's normally someone who attends every event, even the opening of an envelope, which I don't do. I go out, but with my friends. I keep to myself. Um, you won't catch me at every single event. I work. 
I do work. People don't know this, but I work. So I'm not just a party girl. So that tag socialite has constantly been stuck on me since I think 2014, um, since I moved back and the media gained interest in my life. And it's a title I'm kind of trying to get away from, but uh, I do embrace the fact that there is a certain amount of limelight on me and my life. So, you know, when it's time to slay, it's time to slay. I can't roll up to the interview looking nothing less than, you know, slaying. So, yeah, um, probably going to change it to flats after this because I'm already dying just by standing in these heels. Um, my last pregnancy, I did wear heels. Not so much. Probably more in this pregnancy. I have more energy. Um, but, yeah, I'm getting super tired. So I just want to quickly dash the radio interview. So let's go, guys. Come on. We are. We've done up to episode seven. There's one more episode seven. left. Yeah, yeah, oh, hi, yeah. Hi. First of all, how? Why? <laughs> um, <laughs> do you know what? The how and the why are so wild. Um, I have a brand manager called. I won't say her name. She likes yeah. to be anonymous, but she's wow. amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I almost said her name. Um, like he knows, like, it, but I have a brand manager and. Um, D someone from DSTV, um, South Africa, mm -hmm. well, I think she uh, emailed my brand manager. She actually sent me a DM on Instagram as well, but I saw it quite late. And my brand manager was like, there's a new channel called Honey TV. This was like in November mm -hmm. last year. And they really want you on a TV show and they want you to feature in something. Um, so this person sent us kind of the brief of what Honey TV was. Yeah. But I wasn't sure what TV show they wanted me to be on. I just opened YouTube, so I was like, okay, this is moving so fast. Yes. And then they sent them the brief of the next big trender, and at first I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I won't even like, I was so, I was kind of like having Stockholm. I was like, I don't want to do it because I, yeah. I, I felt like imposter syndrome. What I was like, I what, what will I say? What will I do? I'm just getting comfortable with YouTube because I'd never been comfortable even doing radio interviews. Um, but then I sat down and I thought about it, and I said, this is an opportunity not just to show who I am, but to show Uganda. Because yes. I've never really seen a reality show that showcases Uganda and without showcases potholes without potholes or that's not, you know, like a, an NGO advert. I mean, that is one reality, but I was like, the it's the truth. Yes. I, was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, this is our time to shine. Because you know when people think of Africa, they think of Nigeria, mm -hmm. South Africa. I'm like, you need to know Uganda. Yes. So that's why I said yes. I wanted people to see that we are, I feel like, and I say this with my chest. I feel like in East Africa, Uganda is the lifestyle bougie hub, honestly and truly. And I want people to see that we are, like you said, more than just what you see um, on documentaries or what you see on news channels internationally. I've never, ever seen Uganda being broadcast as um, fancy, as, you know, bougie. I mean, look at our weddings. Have you you've seen our weddings? You know how it goes. So I just really want people to see that side um, as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, you didn't want to do it, you got to do it, then we got to see it with the feedback. How do you feel? Um, I feel good. I, I, the feedback from the public or the judges? Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel, I think for me, um, I went into this saying, no matter the outcome, whether I win or not, it's going to help me with my YouTube. It's going to help me as a content creator because yeah. I actually sit down and I watch, um, the episodes again not just on friday but on catch up the mm. next day and on sunday and i listen to what the judges say and i'm like actually this is how i can take my brand further because um i mean of course sometimes you'll be a bit stung like oh, i can't believe they said that Plus but <laughs> oh yeah oh my god my let fans please outside. let's all be cordial <laughs> What we really need is a name for the eyes. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I yes. saw that. Yeah. I saw that. But I'm glad it's given me exposure. I have, um, I'm, before my, I guess, I don't want to say fan base, followers were mostly in Uganda. Now I have Kenyans following me, South yeah, Africans following good. me. So it's given me exposure I would have never gotten had I not had this opportunity from DSTV. And I just, I like what the judges say. I, I go back, like I said, on catch up and I read it and I'm like, okay, this is what I can do 
for my YouTube, this is how I can take this a step further. Yeah. Um, and it's really, really helped me a lot. Right, so the finale will come, will go, you're probably the next big trend up. Or, or <laughs> I you mean, are the next big hopefully, trend up. hopefully. <laughs> I hope that I, I want to win the hearts of the people more than anything. Yes, more yes, than yes. anything. So, so what, what then after that? Because now you've gotten a taste of, of what you, know, you could do. Mm -hmm. What will be next? Um, right now, actually, I'm working on uh, my YouTube channel. I started a series. I mean, I would love to work with DSTV again. Hint, 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 hint. hint. Wow. Hint, Straight hint. I, I, I'm just putting you on the spot. The the I'm just saying. In Gama, is just like, what just happened? Yes, yeah, so please. We'll, we'll hold into this one. I wow. would love, I, I'm very open to reality TV. So I would, I honestly, doing this it, it's fun it's really it's it, it's tiring very tiring but it's fun and i'm like i like it so dstv i'm yours good morning everyone it's day two of media runs today i'm going to San fm and i'm going to be on hopefully the timothy code show um that's the one i requested just because i love timothy code he's so dope he's so fun yesterday had me so exhausted i mean after Capital FM, I went home and I just slept. I was running on three hours of sleep. The heels really did hurt my feet, um, especially my Achilles tendon. I've always had issues with it, but during pregnancy, because I put on weight, it um, affects it more. And the heels were just a no-no. So today, as much as I want to wear heels, I even picked out a heel, let me show you guys. I picked out these heels. Love them, love them, love them. They're from Kurt Geiger. Um, I'm wearing red leggings, so they match perfectly. I have a cute little bag that matches perfectly with them. But look at this heel. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. So I'm, I'm wearing sneakers. I never, outside of the gym, outside of walking, I don't really wear sneakers. I know you've seen sneakers back there and the, some Timberlands, which I wear once in a blue moon. But I'm really a heels girl, as you can see. But um, I'm exhausted again. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm pretty much pretty much in my third trimester so the exhaustion is starting to kick in for me my first trimester was completely exhausted like i was depleted to the fullest second trimester has been a breeze but now um i'm literally in my third trimester so i think i'm starting to get tired again and it's just so annoying because i have so much to do but nonetheless let me go beat my face because i'm looking a little crazy i got some eyeliner on but mm -mm. can't go on radio like this Got my wig on, which is coming off as soon as I'm done with the interview. And yeah, let's go, day two. So this is my final fit, guys. Cute leggings. Um, yeah, I'm in love with these leggings, by the way. They're so stretchy. I'm too small for my maternity leggings right now because my other pregnancy, I was way bigger than this. Wait, I think I was like this. I was, I'm coming to my third trimester now, and in my first pregnancy, I was like this in my first trimester, so they don't fit me yet. And I'm wearing sneakers. I don't know if you guys can see them, but I'm so comfortable. So I can't wait for this interview. Let me go meet my PA and then head off to San Diego. So we're actually on time today. Um, the only issue I have is San Yuakam is where Korean Bank used to be, right? Kampala yeah. Road. Parking. Parking. Uh, uh, no, I don't have the strength or the energy for that. Um, are you driving? I guess we're gonna have to. Do it. It's not. No, it's not. It's like Kampala Road. It's so easy. It's just finding parking is so difficult, and I don't. I'm not in the mood. First of all, parallel parking is not my thing. Um, maybe Uber. I'm really, I love Uber, don't get me wrong, I love Uber, but Uber Uganda, mm, mm. anyways, I guess let's try this, let's hope it comes on time, first of all, uh, let's see, so where do I put, do I put Sanyu FM? I think, okay, Sanyu Baby's Home, no, yeah, it's right here, Sanyu FM. Is the location the same, like their new location? What new location? Because isn't this their new location? I, <clears throat> okay, hold on, let me see. It's showing me. It's showing me. Kampala Road, yeah. It's the one. Okay. So let's order Uber. Oh, God, I'm just praying for an Uber with AC. I, I don't ask for much, do I? Um, hold on, wait. How do I. Okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. I know how to use Uber. It's just I put the wrong. Oh. 
Uh, is this where we are? Oh, is it? Is this Cooper Road? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was today years old. So, wait. This doesn't change. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Confirm UberX. Done. Um, let me put Sky Lounge Engines next. Okay. They still haven't sent me questions though today, but it's Timothy Cold and he's a vibe, so let's just go with the flow. Confirm, agreed, and ride. Okay, it's on its way. shows happening on DSTV right now on Honey TV. I'm talking about the, well, who do I, let me start with the lady, right? Yeah. Let's start with the lady. <laughs> now, you, this lady, you have seen her on uh, Instagram, on Twitter, you have seen her doing um, so many pieces of content, you have seen her organizing some of the finest events in Kampala, she's ready to talk to me, and uh, let me also put a like, little, little bit of a brag, she's one of my personal friends. Nadia Matovu, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. And then also joining me uh, in the studio is a man who's uh, very unrecognizable. You've seen him before. If you see him now, he's a different man, totally different, has a very fly hoodie. Uh, also one of the, uh, I want to call him the big wigs in terms of UG's uh, digital space. Uh, a Twitter big, big wig. I'll call him that. Uh, Colin is in the building all the way from DSTV as well. How you doing, G? Very well. Very well. Thank you for hosting us. Good, good, good. Now listen, today we're talking about uh, all things Honey TV and all things Next Big Trender. But I want to just get to, you know, um, talk to my guys. See how, how we're doing today. Nadia, how you doing? I'm good. I'm tired because mm. I'm expecting baby number two. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, have to put that in there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Baby number two, man. Yes. Hey, you, you hit us with the pictures on Instagram. <laughs> very, I know. A very nice shoot. Like, <laughs> thank, you. Oh thank you. Thank you. My levels. No, no, no. Levels. There's definitely levels to this. <laughs> There's, levels, There's to levels, this. levels to this. You can't just. Just say, I got a baby. No, mm. you got to come correct. Got to mm. come with the content. <laughs> mm. But you've been someone who I think a lot of people, a lot of females have been aspiring to become. You've led the path with the family thing. I need to commend you again with the safe spaces on your Instagram. We have a lot of channels that have been popping up over this last 18 months. You know, mm. it's been a big push on a different channels, but I mm. want to specifically talk about Honey TV. Yes. Now, the other ones are more, you know, Ugandan-centric, focus on Ugandan content. This is now opening Uganda and other African uh, lifestyle content onto the TV. Yes. What was the whole direction with Honey TV? So I'm just going to give my perspective, but obviously because that's the BS, you know, that's like, that's that line, which is, so we were looking to do something fresh, exciting and bold mm. for Africa's young audiences. Okay. Why? Because a lot of Africa's growing up, they're vibrant, they're colorful, they like exciting things. But, but what, we, what we didn't have was something that sort of reflected that back to them and showed them who they were, what they wanted to become. But that's, that's sort of like, that's what I'm supposed to say. Yeah. What I really wanted to hear is Nadia's view on sort of what Honey TV sort of opened her eyes to mm. in terms of what can happen. I know, because mm. you've just described, I think, Nadia in a very good way, creative, vibrant, 
African authentic. So Nadia, being the uh, you you are a person now. Thank you. You're the one who's writing on the billboards and the newspapers. Yes. You're a person. What is your take on Honey TV? Before we even get into the show, what's your take on Honey TV? Um, Honey TV is simply showing the world how lit Africa is. Yeah. I love it. I love the whole concept. I remember when they first approached me, I said, yes. Even before I knew which TV show I was going to be on, I liked the whole idea of showing the lifestyle of Africa, showing our weddings, yeah. showing our reality TV shows, because we yeah. don't have that many, showing young talents, like Colin has said. And it's just, it's amazing. It, it makes you proud to be African. Like, yes. So, Nadia. Yes, please. Next big trend, uh, you've done your thing on the Instagram, you're still a content creator, but now you are a reality TV star. Wow, thank you. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about the show. Tell us about the show. Um, so the next big trender, in a nutshell, they're looking for Africa's next big talent, next big content creator, next big influencer. Mm -hmm. So there are five of us competing. I'm representing Uganda, and proudly so. Uganda. Of course, there's Uganda, there's Kenya, there's an yeah. influencer from South Africa, okay. Ghana, and Nigeria. And tomorrow is the finale. And I've worked really, really hard, and um, I went into this with the mindset of, okay, I want to win. Of course I yes. want to win. But even if I don't, I want that exposure, not just for me, but for my country. All right. I yeah. want to ask you a question that's particular to how these two uh, platforms met. Mm -hmm. Now, you're a content creator, and now you're on TV. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of you know, young ladies that are looking up to you and see the content that you create, and then now it being you know, something that's put into a contest and a competition, but the monetizing. Mm -hmm. How do we make our money off our content? Because that's the thing people are very interested in. And if they're looking up to you and you've made some money off of your content, how do they do the same thing and then become the next big trender and the next big trend? I would say uh, in the very beginning when you're just starting, yeah. don't look at monetizing right away. You need to build your platform, build your audience. You need to know your niche. It took me a while. I've been doing this for a while. Um, you need to know exactly what you want to showcase and then from there start working with brands yeah look for dstv look for colin yeah <laughs> put you on the spot just, hey, colin. Just, hey, colin. Just, just like that just like that by the way just to say my dms are not open <laughs> <laughs> so wow. look for look for brands to collaborate with um youtube of course yeah youtube is great for monetizing they do it by views yeah um yeah so All start right. slow I, I i do want to say what's really unusual about 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 Nadia's journey and what's exciting about it is mm -hmm. a lot of people grew and started their social media sort of they became big trenders by coming out of TV out of traditional media and going yes. to, and she's absolutely killing it by coming the other way around mm -hmm. coming from you know sort of the platform the social media platform becoming so big there that then TV sort of calls her and and that's what respect is you got to put the props out there like Mad respect to what you're doing. Thank Nadia. you so much. Sort of like the and and, and 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 I think what it also says when you talk about leading the way, yeah, it's saying to young ladies, you can be so big mm. that no one can ignore you, that no media house, no TV, no radio can say no to you. And I think I think if if we're talking about beating a new path, yeah, this is it, and she's done it. This is the new path, and we have a brand new show called The Next Big Trender. Let's pay some bills, play some music. When we get back, we continue our conversation with Nadia and Colin, and how you can be a part of this show. This is the Drive Show. Nadia, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you so much, Tim. Call it a blessing. It's uh, always a pleasure. We are done with the interviews for today. Really, really good. Tim Pickle has really good vibes, really good energy. I'm exhausted. I'm so happy I wore um, sneakers today because crossing that road in heels would have been a mess. So I'm going to go home, relax, take a shower, do what I always do, and sleep. And catch you guys in the next episode. Bye. Uh, uh.